ladies and gentlemen, it's me, Ellie, and I'm back yet again for the second time announcing my return to YouTube two months before my last um, return to YouTube. And it's early November, which could only mean one thing. And that one thing is that our nation is unfortunately, yet not shockingly, divided. And no, I'm not talking about the election. We don't do politics here on this channel. What I am talking about is quite possibly more controversial. And that topic that I refer to is the holidays. Now the thing about the holidays, specifically around the time of early November, is the long and tumultuous debate over whether to put your Christmas decorations up November 1st or December 1st. Let me get this out of the way here. I personally don't really have an opinion on the matter. I think that if you are choosing to decorate in an environment with which you legally have the jurisdiction to do so, then by all means, happy holidays to you. Set up your tree November 1st. Set up your tree October 1st. That's on you. I think that we should not shame people for wanting to have a little Christmas spirit, honestly. If you don't celebrate Christmas, Hanukkah, Kwanzaa, put up those decorations November 1st if you want. Honestly, it's all good with me. It's even fine if you choose to put them up December 1st. That is okay too, I support you, I love you. But here's what I wanna talk about today. What I, wish, what I wish to talk about today is the curious and um, rarely visited middle ground. Thanksgiving decorations. I am not even wanting to guess what kind of response that elicited from some of you, but in my house, we do Thanksgiving decorations. We rejoice in Thanksgiving, and we rejoice in being able to cover our house in turkeys. I don't know how you feel about this. You can let me know in the comments below. I don't know if anybody else does this but my family. So today, in honor of that, and in honor of my family's love for Turkey Day, I figured I would take you around a few of the rooms in my home and show you our very, very special, very near and dear to our hearts Thanksgiving decorations. Let's go. All right, so first up on the door, right when you come in, you will see our first turkey. He is regal, he is stunning, he is flawless. He looks so happy with his little mice friend. This is one of four little cardboard decor items that have been around since the pilgrims came that my family has had in this family in this house forever. So here's he. Then you follow me to this wall, we'll see number two of these guys. And this is some adorable little pilgrim children with their food, ready to bring it to the feast. They are so happy, they are so jovial. I love their little outfits. As you can see, we have this lovely little visible tape. The tape is an important part of the decoration too. We want you to know that these decorations are lived in, they're here. Following me over here, we have the counterpart to the pilgrim children underneath the lovely basketball hoop. We have our Native American children. Here's another mouse guy. Apparently the pilgrims and the Native Americans had a mice problem, but we welcome the mice here at our Thanksgiving feast. So they are just planting some seeds and gathering some fish. They're really cute, we love them. The last of this little quad is the Happy Thanksgiving. Once again, the tape. We want you to see the tape. The little mice. It's so lovely. The cornucopia. Can you even have Thanksgiving without the cornucopias? So that is the front entryway decor. Oh, can't forget him. This is just turkey number two of the, of the house. I have no words. I have no words. I've never seen him before. This one is new to me this year. Love All right, it. so this piece is a little bit more abstract. We wanted to represent to you, you know, the afterlife of the turkey after we've eaten it and, you know, gone through that process of getting it from the farm to the table. We still have its remnants, and it's really just metaphorical that 
even if we do eat the turkey, it still lives on in our hearts and we would still love to remember it in our decorations and in our holiday season. That's the dinner. All right, turkey number three in this household. This one is special to all of us. I think my brother crafted this lovely, lovely gem of a turkey when he was in elementary school. As you can see, he at that point in his life was thankful for the trees, the animals, the family, Jesus, mission, and friends. As you can see, three out of the six words are spelled incorrectly, but Thanksgiving is about harmony and it's about growth. So we don't care that my brother is illiterate because we love him and we love that he's thankful for questionably spelled things. Moving on, we have turkey number four. And it's this beautiful, beautiful glitter, glitter turkey that somebody named Amelie created. Um, we don't know. We love to support obscure artists in the industry. So here we have this. It's just a lovely addition. Moving on. Over here, we have two of my finest works. If you did not know, I am an artist and I'm very proud of all of the work that I have put forth. This is a digitally created turkey, um, turkey number five, that I did in elementary school. I worked so hard on this and at parent-teacher conferences, my computers teacher told my mother that it was the finest piece of art that he had ever seen in his existence. So that's really special. And then I took Spanish. I've taken many, many years of Spanish. Yo hablo espanol. Um, and as you can see, I was grateful for Jesus, mi familia, and mi perra. Mi perro. A lot of us in this house are illiterate. Anyway, so that is, as you can see, apple, orange, banana. Beautiful. <laughs> Another obscure artist whom we love to celebrate in this house. Now coming over here, this is where it gets really special. We have the piano. Sorry. We have the piano with a scarecrow that I crafted. More feathers. You know that we love the symbolism of the feather. And then we have these adorable little pilgrim bears um, that... I don't know, we love them. Some ocean themed candles that don't really go with the aesthetic, but they're cute, aren't they? A turkey candle, fabulous, fabulous, and some more little pilgrim people. We love the pilgrims and the Native Americans, and we love the bond that they had for just this one day before everything you know, went to crap between them. It's all right. Over here, the Lord watches over this beautiful arrangement of various pumpkins in their different mediums and this fabulous turkey plate from my nana my nana loves decorative plates as you can see here she gifted this one to us and then turkey number 34 we have this one made out of a foot and some hands symbolizing the feet that walked and the hands that built the thanksgiving event it's symbolic. Finally, we will move to the kitchen. These are some beautiful glitter hand turkeys that my sister and I created about five years ago. The hand turkey is one of the most, honestly, special and sacred parts about Thanksgiving. It's just so wonderful to see your children's growth throughout the years as they make their various hand turkeys, and you can just see the individualism of the artist in them. As you can see, my hand has not grown in five years. That's a little bit of an issue that I have struggled with um, security-wise, so please don't have any comments about it. Thank you. Over here, another turkey hand of mine. My hands don't grow. Baby hands. They've been the same size since I exited the womb. And lastly, my own hand, foot, mouth, sin, no, hand, foot, turkey. Hand, foot, turkey, it's really just lovely. Um, it says, Happy Thanksgiving, 2015. Good year. Fabulous year, the last good year on the earth. Um, and as you can see, we have one final turkey, we can't forget him in the kitchen. Here's the trash can. Um, 
the simplistic turkey. Oh, close up on the trash can. This is the simplistic turkey. Um, we don't actually know who the artist is of this one. We just, it blew to us in the wind knowing that we um, love Thanksgiving with all our, with all our American hearts. So he really is just here to remind us that Thanksgiving is important. It, it really says a lot. Um, I think his name is, um, I think his name is Henry, you know, named after our founding father, Henry, um, the eighth, Henry the eighth. That's correct. Thank you, Gabriel. Follow me to my chair and we'll conclude. So I just want to thank you all so much. Oh, we forgot the sign, Gabriel, the sign. Last but not least, we'll just conclude here, up here. Um, this is reminding us to give thanks. This season about is about giving thanks. Um, please remember, tell people that you're thankful for them. Tell your pets that you're thankful for them. Tell your inanimate objects that you are thankful for them. I am thankful for you, chair. Thank you. All right, to the chair, over here, all the chairs. So there you have it, you guys. Those are our very festive and very unique and very extra Thanksgiving decorations that we do at our house. Um, if you have your Christmas tree up right now, ride on. If you don't have your Christmas tree up right now, ride on. If you would like to join in the fun that we have here at this household and put up some Thanksgiving decorations, then hand turkeys are very easily accessible to you and just a really wonderful way to try something new and um, find a different way to rejoice in the season of thanks. I would just like to remind everyone to um, find someone to tell them that you're grateful for them or do, what are you doing? Sorry. Or do an act of service, that's my cameraman. I am thankful for you, cameraman. So thank you all so much for watching. Hopefully I'll be back to posting videos. If you hated this video, um, Leave thanks. a like. <laughs> yeah, leave a like. Thanks for the view. Thanks for the like. If you loved this video, thank you. My brother told me that it was a terrible video and everybody would unsubscribe. So prove him wrong for me. Love you guys. Happy holidays.